Hi everyone, it's Secret here, and what are we on, part six? I'm going to show you guys myself spraying these flowers. Because I started doing the varnish with the glitter in it, the starlight varnish. But some of the, remember that some of the inks that I used uh, were not permanent. So it's okay, you know, it didn't smear that bad look. That I did that one off camera with just the varnish. But I noticed some of the color comes off onto the brush. So I said, you know what, I'm going to use an Americana acrylic sealer that I have that they sent me. So this is the way I'm going to do it. And a pile I have a pile of them right here. I'm gonna spray the top one. I have the door open, don't worry. And then put it aside. That way, whatever sprays any other direction, at least it gets onto some of the other flowers. Once I do this and it's dry, then I think I may, may not dip some of them in glitter. Who knows? I'm not sure yet. What I do love is how vibrant they become. That way, whoever receives them, they'll be sealed and they'll be able just to put them right onto their work. Lodi had a wonderful idea. These would be perfect for postcards. So I think I'm going to make some more off camera to keep in my stash. All of these are going out. I want to make people happy. People have made me so happy. I want to give back. I've been dumpster diving today and I cut myself, not in the dumpster, but I cut myself. I'll show you guys tomorrow. I got myself a huge log. I love when people cut their old trees. Close my door. Please. When they cut their old trees, especially if they're like over 30 years old, and you know, they, some of them are a variety of sizes, I'll pull over and I'll pick them up. I love putting tree trunks in my yard. Eventually I want to grow moss around them, and I want to do like a fairy, very very uh, labyrinth looking, mystical, uh, front yard. That'll be fun to have and then th host uh, art parties. Yeah. So I've been picking those up and I picked one up today and I cut myself up moving it. It must weigh, I'm thinking it weighs about 150 pounds and I picked it up and split my knuckle right there, opened this up a little fine. It satisfied me to be able to throw it in my car. Worst part about it is the man, the man was watching me. He preferred to watch me than to help me and that was so wrong. He watched me struggle. He was just looking at my ass. That's what he was doing. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, and then I found, let me show you guys what I found. I found this out also in the trash so I was able to organize today. Let me pull the camera down. You guys are going to flip a little. So I need to disconnect. Okay. Then I need to pull you off. Look what I found. Let me zoom out. 
It's in perfect shape also. Let me put this where it belongs. Give me one second. This white thing. It's in perfect shape. And it's really, it's pretty big. It's bigger than my Cricut. So I was thinking I was going to throw my Cricut on top to get me to use it because it's back there. I need to clean it. I got a little bit of paint on it. Oh, sorry. I almost smushed one of the doggies. Okay. So it gives me three layers. One here, one there, and then the bottom. And then these I picked up. Oh, I had these in my shop, my thrift store. And you guys all know, or the new subscribers, I closed down two businesses this year. One thrift shop and one computer repair. The computer repair continues here at the house. My husband builds um, custom PCs and he sells laptops and repairs laptops and he builds gamer uh, PCs anyways he continued with that I didn't I donated everything felt good about it and but these were from my shop so I have about 30 or 40 of these I accumulated over two years but I love what I found look at this now I can pull this out and no one use it. And then have this there. Okay. What was there before was just this. This monster was taking up the room over there. So I tr really tripled by bringing things up like that. So from from just this to now that. That's a lot more. And then eventually my husband's going to build himself an office outdoors so I'll get the whole room to myself and then you guys will see me venture out into all sorts of other art and mediums like jewelry making uh, metal smithing soldering I know how to do all that anyways which way do we go oh okay so here's the monster shelving unit I showed you guys on wheels, big fat wheels. I love fat wheels. So now I have it like this. So down there is junk paper. Over there, there's a full trash. My little laminator over there. You see my laminator right there. My trash bin. A bunch of random pieces of paper. Oh, that paper Letha gave me, and I'm. Those are the ones that I'm going to use for drop paper my textures my sprays go in there anything tall like that okay then these bins my husband used at the shop he doesn't use them anymore we got those at freight harbor freight I think he said they were like 69 cents when they go on sale. I love them. I need more. And I just pull them out, throw them up there, and then I use them. You see? Now I got all these. And then my basket full of stencils. And I don't want to reuse that. Sometimes we need to just throw things out. Basket full of stencils. And then just little random doodads and my my dryer's going off. Then I'm going to throw more paint here. So it's just a tin with Christmas candy. It's really nice and thin. That way, if I didn't have those tall things, I can just move this over. These are too tall also. Just bring this over and use it. Excuse me. OK, 
Can you throw this in the nail polish and then that's your sister's makeup? You guys want to see what, what's under my desk? Hi, little creature. <laughs> huh? You still want to close? Yeah. Hi. Hi, Pixie. Say hi. I love my mom. I love my mom. <laughs> and then there's another creature down there. Hi, Beans. Beans, mom's talking to you. Beans, mom's talking to you. <laughs> Hi, Pico. Her name's Pixie, but we tend to call her Pico. Pico de Gallo. <laughs> You're silly. And then there's another one that way somewhere. She's black, so we can't really see her out there because the light's not on. And then up there is a kitty. But you can't see her either. She's like camouflage tiger stripes, so you can't even see her in the dark. Okay. I've had you guys enough. You guys have had me enough. So I'll get you later.